Hi, I'm Sue Shackleton and welcome to my studio in Perth in Western Australia. I'm doing a challenge today and I want to challenge all you potters out there to throw a pot blindfolded. I'm a glaucoma sufferer and I'm very grateful for the sight I have. So, here we go. If I could have my assistant, yes, thank you very much, my trusty assistant. And so... Can we just look at the finger stats? How many fingers am I holding up? Um, two, probably. Two. <laughs> Knows me too well. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. So here's So what are you making today? So I'll just try and make a little cylinder form, and um, and so of course we've got to get it in the middle of the wheel, which is a trick, and try and centre it. At least my water's in the same spot, so that's pretty handy. So I'm actually centering the clay. Yes, that's not so bad. I can. And it's just so, so weird, because I do most of this by sight. I'm just, uh, oh, is it? So I'll turn it up a bit and, and then centre it. So, thumb down and finger is across, thumb down to go across to my little fingers and some of my students and then I'll turn the little cord back and pull up the pot and can take that rim oh that feels very thick at the bottom does it feel centred? is it? yeah, yeah it's centred So I'm just pulling it up, giving it a bit of height, just a bit of pressure on the sponge, hitting the pushing towards the finger inside, just slowly bringing it up and compact the rim just so it holds it all together. Oh, I'll try and nudge nudge that top end so that the top stays narrower than the base. Gives easier control. Plenty of water so it doesn't stick. So it feels fairly thin, but without looking, it's hard to tell. Isn't it? It's hard to tell. It's definitely a challenge. So yes, I'm very lucky where I live. I'm, I, I have um, I, I have treatment, so drops every day, which I retain my sight. So some places. Uh, some people not so lucky. I'll just straighten this up a bit because it feels as though it's got a bit of a model on it. So I hope you'll all have a go at this. I challenge you all, especially those gnarly dudes in the UK, all those big chest beating wood fire cutters. And especially those ones who have been rubbing in about the cricket, you know who you are. <laughs> I'm trying to pull it up and put a bit of shape in it now, but oh, it feels all over the place. Okay, that's better. I feel as though it's really quite high, but I don't think it is. Really. I'm probably using more water than I would normally use. This is a strange reason. Have you, have you intentionally bowed it in the middle? Bowed it in the middle? Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to give it a bit of shape. Yep. So I think it's, oh gosh, look, you know, I don't know how, if it's in proportion or not. And that's a bit thick there, so I'll pull it up. 
and pack that rim so it won't fall apart. I'm sure I put a lot of water in the, in the inside, so I'm just not going to... Oh yeah, I have I got a couple of water in there. Take that water out. If we leave that water in, there'll be less cracks in the bottom of the pot. So I'm going to use my thumb to handle the two, just to sort of give it a bit of a neck. I usually do if all else fails. I'll turn it into a jug. Do you think you are completely reliant on, obviously you can make a pot without sight? Um, look, I think you can make pots without sight, but gosh it would take you, um, it would like anything take a lot of practice. But yes, it's, it's, um, it's a very tactile um, occupation, but my vision certainly plays a huge part. So, yes. Well done, Cher. So, give it a go. Thanks for visiting. <laughs>